is here. Now, broadcasting from the underground command post, deep in the bowels of a hidden bunker, somewhere under the brick and steel of a nondescript building, we've once again made contact with our leader, Mark Levin. Mort Klein is the uh, child of Holocaust survivors. And uh, he was born in a displaced persons camp in Gunzburg, Germany. He's now one of the leading voices in the American-Israeli relationship. And he's president of ZOA, Zionist Organization of America. And he's under attack now. People are trying to destroy him and destroy his organization. Mort Klein, how are you, sir? Hi. It's been a rough week for Americans who love America. Rough week. Tell me, tell me what's going on here, and also tell everybody what Alan Dershowitz had to say. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I became very concerned that the Black Lives Matter movement has gained incredible visibility and credibility in the last two weeks. They're all over the place. <laughs> because of that, and because of their anti-Semitism, I thought I have to call them out. Their platform calls, says that Israel commits genocide against the Arabs. Genocide. Which is amazing, because there were 200,000 Arabs uh, in Israel in 1948. Today there's 2 million. So the genocide program is not working too well. They say that Israel is an apartheid state, even though Arabs have full, equal rights, civil and voting rights as Jews. They support boycotting Israel. Uh, They say Zionism at its core is, is white supremacy. And more than just that, they want to defund every police station all the police in America. They want to end funding the U.S. military. They want to end the capitalism system. They want to pay reparations to countries we went to war with, Somalia, Iraq, Libya. They want us to pay money to these countries that we were forced to go to war with. And they want to end the global war on terrorism, which protects Americans. Uh, so this is really awful. And, they, uh, and so I've called them out and simply said what is in their platform. And because of this... Leaders of the left-wing Jewish organizations, uh, led by Rick Jacobs, the head of the Reform Jewish Movement, the Israeli Labor Party in America, J Street, a radical left-wing anti-Israel group, have demanded that I be thrown out of the Conference of Presidents. They call me a racist and Islamophobe. When I am simply calling out the Black Lives Matter, they're the racists. They're the haters and bigots. And yet they're calling me a bigot because I'm attacking them. They're so afraid of Black Lives Matter, antagonizing them, that they want me to shut up. They want to end freedom of speech for Americans and specifically for me. And thank God uh, Alan Dershowitz, the famed criminal lawyer, (laughs) has now written articles, has gone on television, saying the same thing that Black Lives Matter is an anti-Semitic racist group. And he has said if they try to go after me or my organization... He said, I will defend Morton Klein and ZOA politically, and I will defend him legally. So that was very comforting to me, and I was deeply grateful. So you have these hard left-wing groups in all these ethnic groups, uh, particularly in the Jewish uh, community, like J Street and the others. The the reform movement, which I have now uh, left, uh, I was barely part of it anyway, but I was raised as a reformed Jew. I don't even know what that means anymore. Uh, most of these organizations, is it not true, most if not all, hate Donald Trump and hate Benjamin Netanyahu? Uh, it, it, it's mindless, irrational hatred. The hatred is so intense, it's as if, it's as if we had, you know, Nazis running the government. That, that's how intense the hatred is of most American Jewish leaders uh, who are far left-wing, and they would do anything to try and bring him down, uh, even though he's been the greatest friend to Israel ever, and one of the greatest presidents for the United States ever. So this is completely, it makes no sense about these left-wing groups being so hostile. That includes not only the reform movement, the conservative Jewish movement, uh, the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, is extremely hostile. Well, and the head of the ADL is the former Obama appointee, and yet Obama was the worst president in the history of uh, our relationship with Israel, and he is embraced and loved by these groups. Isn't it true more inclined that these groups really are Democrat front groups? 
Well, I can only say that the vast majority of them overwhelmingly vote for Democrats and want Democrats to uh, to be elected. Uh, you know that mm-hmm. that that's a fact. I know these people. I talk to them. Uh, that's who they are. There's there's almost no Republicans uh, among them. So they're trying to drive you out of what organiza- organization and explain it to the public. <laughs> it's an umbrella group of of fifty major Jewish organizations called the Conference of Presidents of major American Jewish organizations. It's an umbrella group uh, that meets regularly to try and speak with one voice about issues affecting Israel. <laughs> and ZOA is a Zionist organization of America, is a charter member. We helped found it in 1956. They want to throw me out for one reason. They want to reduce my credibility and demonize me so people won't listen to me. This is their tactic. Uh, as opposed, by the way, they only call me names. Racist, bigot, xenophobe. They don't say one word about what I've said as to why it's inaccurate or incorrect. It's just name calling to try and drive me out. Even though everything I said, I simply wrote what is in the platform of the anti Semitic Black Lives Movement uh, uh, platform. And by the way, it's not only in their platform, it's on their Facebook. <laughs> why, why do they lie about it? Why do they lie about it? If the group is what it is and it is everything you say it is, why pretend it's something else? Why lie to their members? Why lie to the Jewish community? Why lie to the American people? And you see this not only among these left-wing Jewish groups, you see it among left-wing entities everywhere, even culturally. I mean, you have the, the head of the NFL basically begging and, uh, and talking about he stands with uh, Black Lives Matter. Does he understand that group as an anti-American, anti-Semitic group? Does he care? Uh, uh, no, he doesn't. People, all these people have, are petrified of the violence they've seen. They're afraid that Black Lives Matter could, could get even more violent and start p- promoting violence against Jews, against synagogues, which we've seen. Three-quarters of the Jewish store in L.A. have been destroyed. Synagogues have been destroyed. Hold it, hold up, up, up. Say that again, slowly. Three, three-quarters of the Jewish stores in Los Angeles have been uh, uh, destroyed. From the riots? <clears throat> From the riots. Uh, a, a dozen or more synagogues in L.A. have been defaced with statements Free Palestine, uh, uh, kill all Jews. Uh, uh, and I uh, saw the swastika in Minneapolis. I don't know. I, I had to stop counting. It was on so many buildings. That's right. <laughs> so the, these Jewish leaders. And by, and, by, and by the way, did you see any reports on that in the network news or CNN or MSNBC? I didn't see any. No, almost no one is reporting it. You have to really read everything to find this out. It's not a major story, but although it should be. It shows the anti-Semitism. It started to look a little bit like Kristallnacht to me there for a while. <laughs> That's a painful and accurate analogy uh, that you just uh, cited. <laughs> and uh, as I said, these people from the, from the NFL uh, guy to the Jewish leaders... Uh, are afraid, are scared to death of Black Lives Matter. They're afraid of antagonizing them. That's why they feel, if they say to Mort Klein, you're a bigot, you're a racist, stop condemning Black Lives Matter, they feel they'll be protected. It is a a psychological fear they have. But they they have to understand, it's not only anti-Semitic that Black Lives Matter. They're anti-American. They want to defund the police and the U.S. military and capitalism, pay reparations to, to, to third world terrorist countries. So this is an American issue, not just a Jewish issue. Mm-hmm. And, All right. If people want to help you or learn more, where do they go? Go on my website, zoa.org, zoa.org. You'll learn all about what I just talked about and more. We put stuff out almost every day, and there's a place to donate to help us. Uh, we welcome everyone to, uh, to help us be stronger. We fight for America. We fight for Israel. We fight for strong U.S.-Israel relations. We fight for truth, and we fight against terrorism. Uh, uh, so and we're the, really the only Jewish organization that encompasses all of those uh, uh, missions, all, 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 all right. that agenda. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put it up on Mark Levin Show Facebook, Mark Levin Show Twitter. ZOA.org. Uh, Mark Klein, I wish you safety, and I wish you the best, sir. Thank you so much for your holy, patriotic work. You're really one of a kind. Well, thank you, Mort. You too.